Hi everyone, my name's Electro Donkey, and welcome to the first video in my sandbox tutorial. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't already seen the intro, go and check that out quickly now. I'll put a link in the description and probably somewhere around here, because it's very important explaining what this series is going to be all about. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing quite quickly, and um, we've got 10 minutes to get as much done as possible. Uh, in this video, uh, we'll be basically just um, setting up our environment. So we'll be having um, all the spriting done, there's not much to do. Uh, all the blocks done straight away now, making some objects and setting up the rooms and stuff. Um, just so that in the next video we are totally ready to actually jump in and do all the coding. Uh, so we won't have to be messing around doing this um, all the time. So right, we're going to call this sprite player. And for the player, um, as you've probably seen in the intro if you've already seen it, we're just going to have a pretty basic cube. Uh, you can put whatever you want in this, because um, all the collisions will work with whatever shape, it just uses the bounding boxes. Um, but yeah, uh, a cube looks nice, um, it looks smooth, especially seeing I'm actually pretty rubbish at, um, at drawing. So yeah, um, we're going to have everything quite small on this, so the width is going to be 8. And the height's going to be double that because we want it to actually look human. And yeah, we've got 16. So. Here's a little person, this is going to be our player for the next uh, however long. Hmm. I like this sort of... Let's have that colour. I think that's quite a nice colour. Yeah, it's sort of like a pinky red. Okay. Um. Also, I think we need to... Um, sort of centre this. Bring... Nope, that's four. Bring that one down to zero, maybe sixteen. Yeah, well, we'll try that. You know, put that as that. Uh, I'll have a look for the next video. I'll make sure I check, because at the minute it's not going to really matter. We're just setting up our environment. Um, so yeah, we'll just put that as that at the minute. Okay, that is all for the sprites actually, because we're doing this all without too many objects. Because um, I forgot to mention, I think uh, it's all backgrounds and tiles so uh, we're not going to be making a super laggy game with like 1000 instances in a room because uh, you can just have a thousand tiles which would be much much faster uh, and it's yeah what all the uh, best games do it does make stuff a little bit trickier um, but it really does pay off so we're going to call it BK block dirt and uh, what I'm doing here is actually using the block um, I identify a bit so later, we're going to call all of our uh, things either block, a uh, back, or um, special ones like I've got BK Air, which is just air. And uh, we need to make sure that they're 8. 8 by 8. So that's going to be our tile size um, for all of them. Um, okay, so now we can um, make our uh, dirt. I'm going to try and make it look like um yeah remotely look like dirt I can't say it will be the best artwork in the world because uh yeah I'm honestly they're not art the the not the best artist uh ever known to man yeah that looks remotely like dirt doesn't it yeah <laughs> we'll just say it does It'll work nicely on the tiles though, which is what counts really. Uh, actually, I'm just going to quickly... It's going to annoy me otherwise. Put something in that gap there. Okay, now we're going to duplicate this. And this one's going to be called BK Back Dirt. We won't actually use this um, that much. But, um, obviously it's quite a key element. You know, but it's just an example that you can... Uh, have different tile types and stuff like that. So as we can turn uh, image. Yep. Um. Hmm. What are we gonna do? Uh, let's see. We're gonna do something to make it sort of um different in a way. I think we might just. How about we invert it? That'd be cool. <laughs> I think that'd be make it a bit too out there, though. 
intensity, maybe. Ah, yeah, yeah, saturation, that's a good thing. So if we saturate it a bit, yeah, here we go. Saturated a bit, it looks more like a, a backy bird. Okay, backy isn't even a word. <laughs> I'm making up words. That's not a good start, guys. Next, we're going to make another one called BK Air, and this is going to be our just transparent one. Um, because we're still going to draw this one, um, at times, uh, just for purposes of not having to write out millions of if statements. We can just write out whatever's in that grid placement, we can just draw it. So if it's transparent, it won't draw anything. Okay, and the last one we're going to do, this is just going to be our, our random block. So this is going to be called BK block. Let's think of a, um, decent block. This is just to demonstrate in the, probably the last video I'll do on this series. Um, we'll be explaining how we can do different blocks and this will be for that purpose. So, hmm. Let's have block rainbow. I don't know. <laughs> rainbow. Uh, we'll just make it like a, I don't know. Um, we'll get like red and yellow and stuff. This will don't please don't if you're actually making a game please do not do this um, block because it will not look good. But for the purpose of just showing you like which how like how you can put different blocks in, I think it's a really good way because a lot of the time like if I watch like a YouTube video explaining or doing a tutorial or something. The one thing that I find that people always miss out is how you can expand on it. Like, that's what you want to do. You're there to learn, and once you've like finished doing the tutorials, I want to make it as easy as it possible for you to actually carry on and um, do it for yourself. Because there's so much you could do with this game that when when I'm finished, uh, when we're finished, there is so much different stuff uh, that we can do, and I want to show you how you can actually go about doing that stuff. Oh, I'm messing up. Okay, so here we've got our absolutely jazzy rainbow block. That looks uh, pretty as, but... Okay, now we're going to make the objects. We're not actually going to put anything in the objects yet, but... You know, we can keep them um, until the later videos when we actually use them. So this is going to be called Object Player. And we're going to give it this player sprite. We're going to make a object level, which is going to generate a level that doesn't need a sprite. And uh, last but not least is object lighting, which is going to control our lighting. Lighting. So again, we don't need a sprite for that one. So that's all the objects done, all the backgrounds done, and all the sprites done. The last thing we have to do is make our room. So if we can make a room, we can go into settings, and we're going to call it room test. We're going to make the dimensions uh, 360 by 360. You can change this, I believe. I've not tested changing it, because there's really no need. But, you know, um, let's give it a sort of that colour. doesn't really matter what colour again. Um, and uh, we're going to put our level and... Um, lighting object in here so there we go they're all just sitting in there waiting to be used and uh, yeah uh, last thing we're gonna do to make it actually run pretty nicely is going to um, well not the last thing global game settings if it lets me windows maybe not windows I always find it really hard because I've got like all these different uh, things and ah oh yeah, Windows graphics turn off interval plate between pixels makes it look messy. And last but not least, all configurations and we're gonna just put in cell width and we're gonna give it a value of eight and cell height and we're gonna give that a value of eight. So what these are are a set of values that get set at the start of the game which are constant throughout the whole game, we can use them at whatever time just by putting the name in. And we're going to set them to 8. It's just an easy way to use a common variable, because we use it quite a lot. 
Okay, so that is our first video. We've set up our environment. In the next video, we'll be going on to movement and how we can move around our player. And I hope to see you then. Remember to like, subscribe, uh, post it on Google, whatever you want to. And I will talk to you later.